All right, so we're in ZBrush, and what we want to do is actually get an image of a lizard and project it onto the surface of our character here, just to get some color started. I showed you a little bit about how to get some paint started. We'll go back to that, definitely clean this up, and then, you know, uh, kick out the UV or the JPEG of this, and also the normal map, and I'll show you what that looks like in Maya. All right, and you can bring this into Unity, etc. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So what we want to do is go ahead and uh, make sure our symmetry is on. So I hit X to activate it. And you can see my X is on the wrong axis just because coming in from Maya, it's uh, by default on the wrong axis. So let's go ahead, at least on, on the way I have it set up. So let's go ahead and we're going to go transform. And I'll go ahead to my z-axis and make sure that is working. All right, so that's really important what we're painting because we want both sides to be painted. So I'll go ahead and zoom up pretty big. All right, so I'll go ahead and turn on my tool to paint. So we're going to go texture, I import uh, my lizard. And go to my texture again. And I'll go ahead and turn on at the spotlight. All right, so what we're doing is we're actually paint this image directly onto our character. So there's a good way to get photo, photorealism with especially humans and you know, lizards and stuff like that if you have a really good image to start with. All right, so I want to kind of size it up the best I can. So this is your size tool, this is your rotate, and you can move this tool around once you've got your thing selected. So I'll go ahead and use my nudge tool. And I've got a very large uh, size right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and nudge over oh, my skin. You can see this is, uh, this is the end of the character. So again, we're just trying to get some color on there. So as easy as that, you know, the eye is probably not matched up, you can go in there and nudge it a little bit better. But again, this is just a, to show a real quick tutorial of how to use uh, the spotlight. So we're going to go ahead and hit Z as in Sam, or it is Z as in Sam, Z as in Zip. So we hit that. And you want to make sure you don't click off of the surface, because you'll uh, make the, the actual model turn off. All right. So I'm going to go up on my intensity, so it's painting fully onto there, and I prefer using my mouse for this to get color on there. You want to go 100% because it will, you know, do 60% and it will look transparent. Alright, so we've painted a lot, so also we need to go to freehand. Turn off our alpha, probably would have been a good idea. So I'll paint that again. That was my bad. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and turn off our texture. You saw right when I clicked off a bit, spun it around. So let's go to texture and turn off our spotlight, which is also shift Z if you want to get fancy with it. There's our character. Obviously, one side is not the same. All right, so this is a little bit of a way of getting some texture on there. You can see it smeared around our eyes in the wrong spot. So I'm going to go ahead, go back to my color spray, and make sure you're in RGB. And go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and get a color. So all you have to do is to go to color pick is click on here, click and drag over, and I'll select a color. And what the, the spray is, it's going to go uh, colors all around that spectrum. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my Wacom tablet and start painting with Apple Z. Go a little bit smaller on my brush and also knock down my intensity. Closer you get. Let's go ahead and turn on the alpha. So 
I'm just coloring right on the surface, get rid of that white. Get a little bit closer. So you want to go ahead and color this out. You can see how quickly it is. All right, so we'll stop there. And I'll finish this up in just a second.